All right, in this video, we will learn how to convert the circle equation from general form to standard form. Now, this is general form. Notice that there are no parentheses anywhere in general form. Standard form is more like this, what you see in problem number six. All right, so somehow we're going to make a general form equation into a standard form equation. And the key is we are going to complete the square. To do that, we need to get our x's together and our y's together. So um, let's just rewrite this. So I have x squared and then minus 4x, leave a space. And then I have y squared and then plus 8y, leave a space. Now this negative 4 is in the way. So just go ahead and subtract, uh, I'm sorry, add 4 to both sides. So that's going to give me equals 4 over there. Now it is time to complete the square. For the x's, we're doing half the middle squared. Half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is back to 4 again. So I need to add 4 on the left and on the right. And same thing here. Half the middle squared. Half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So I'm going to add that to the left and to the right. Now, completing the square always leaves it so that this will factor as the same thing twice. In this case, x minus 2 times x minus 2. The sign always comes from the middle term. And then we've got the y's. This will be y plus 4 um, times y plus 4. Okay, <clears throat> now over here I've got 8 plus 16, that is 24. All right, to finish putting this in standard form, I will pull these together as x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 24. So that is how you go from general form to standard form. Okay, I think we need to do that one more time for number five. This one's slightly different um, because the x squared doesn't have an x term to go along with it. That's okay. Um, the x squared will just stay x squared the entire time. So I've got x squared plus y squared plus 6y. Leave a space. And uh, this 12 has to go away. So let's do the opposite and add 12 to both sides. So that'll give me 12 over there. <clears throat> so it is time to complete the square with the y's, all right? Just the y's. Half the middle is 3. 3 squared is 9. So we're going to add 9 to both sides. Okay, there's nothing I can do with the x squared, all right, it's only one thing. So I'm just going to leave that x squared. But the y's will factor as the same thing twice. y plus 3. And uh, that's going to equal 21. Okay, so last step. So I've got my x squared plus, <clears throat> I'm going to collect these together as y plus 3 squared. Okay, is equal to 21. And this is now standard form. Here endeth the lesson.